Balenciaga's recent marketing campaign is an illustration of just how wrong things can go when a company gets human rights wrong. For socially conscious companies with potentially socially conscious, engaged and aware consumers and customers, it's really important to use one's IP in ways that are socially responsible and to promote respect for human rights. And this has to be not just through words, but also through actions. This recent Balenciaga marketing campaign is an illustration of the use of one's IP and brand in ways that appear to be inconsistent with human rights. And Balenciaga has suffered significant backlash as a result. In fact, people are saying that Balenciaga's advertisements promote child pornography and that Balenciaga should be canceled. Kim Kardashian fans are calling on her to discontinue her relationship with Balenciaga for example. So what happened? So Balenciaga has some advertisements that had children holding stuffed animals, some teddy bears, and the teddy bears were wearing some leather straps, things that look like BDSM, some sexualized material. So that's one part of it. And then there's another ad that had uh, Balenciaga and Adidas, I believe, but in the background, there's a court case upheld legislation that banned child pornography. So Balenciaga has received quite a lot of backlash for this. And you know, it's unclear whether they meant these ads to be provocative and to start some kind of conversation, but it's pretty clear from what happened here that not all publicity is good publicity. Sometimes even bad publicity really is just bad. So Balenciaga has issued an apology, but they're also suing the production company. They say that there were some mistakes made that the children shouldn't have been featured with the teddy bears. They say that there were also some mistakes made around the um, court decision. So they're clearly trying to clean this up now. You know, the problem is that for Balenciaga here is that this advertising campaign, people are reading it as using the brand, as the brand advertising, marketing in a way that is not supportive of children, that is sexualizing children, whether that's their intention or not. And you know, so this ad that sexualizes children is something that most people find to be abhorrent. What is interesting about this is that it's not really consistent with Balenciaga's corporate image. So if you look at their Instagram page where they have issued this apology, you'll also see that they have statements that were there in support of women's rights. They have statements that are there that were in support of diversity and inclusion, um, statements against racism, statements in support of immigrants. So it would be very inconsistent for the company to then come out and do something that appears to support the abuse of children. One, but as one commentator said, right, the Balenciaga is getting criticized from all over for doing this and has had to pull all the advertisements. You know, some people may move away from the brand permanently, some may not. Some some people say, oh, people will forget about this in a little bit and I'll be back to business as usual. As someone commented, companies used to be able to do whatever they want and get away with it, but not. it's not so easy to do that anymore. And this is why corporate social responsibility, environmental and social governance, as it relates to IP, are not just about marketing. This is not just about having something that looks nice. There can be actual business consequences as well as social consequences. And if you think about the Balenciaga ad, it's not illegal. The ad itself is not illegal. It's distasteful. And that's the thing about corporate social responsibility, respect for human rights. It's actually about norms and standards and it's good for business and it's good for the community as well. Customers may care about some offenses more than others, right? So Balenciaga had a little scandal around cultural appropriation at some point in time, and that's that didn't generate this kind of strong response. So it's clear customers may care about some issues more than others, but they are paying attention. So why wouldn't every smart business pay attention to? 
Balenciaga has come out to apologize and they are suing the production company. So let's, let's see what happens next with this situation. Um, but it really is an illustration of why companies need to pay attention maybe more than they would have in the past because you have a consuming public that is really alert to these kinds of issues and looking at some of these ad campaigns and things in close detail. I'm Jan from Drop Culture, Cultural Intellectual Property Consulting. Follow me on my YouTube channel for more discussions about socially responsible intellectual property, cultural intellectual property, trademarks, and other fun topics.